When we look at the world around us, we often see several issues in the world. Whether it be disease, inequality, climate change, and many more, there are a great many things that we could hope to be better in the world. What if we could get rid of all these problems? Would that even be possible? A utopian society has been discussed among philosophers for thousands of years. Interestingly, the word utopia has two different meanings. In one interpretation, it meant not place, or a world that could not exist. The other interpretation, however, found that the word utopia came from the word utopia, with an EU instead of a U. In this interpretation, the word meant a good place, more commonly associated with that word. Many philosophers pondered the existence of a utopia and made their own versions of what a utopian society would be. The earliest known utopia discussed by philosophers would be the Republic by Plato. In it, he states that the ones in power should be philosophers, with the term coined as philosopher kings. He would describe his land, known as Magnesia, in great detail. He would state its rules, its housing, how it would run, and survive. To Plato, education was key to any successful society, since the more educated a person was, the more ethically responsible they would be, and the better people they would be overall. It was more a thought experiment than anything real, however its impact can still be seen throughout the world today. For example, the idea that education was highly valuable was clearly an influence for our education system today. Ideals such as Plato's Utopia would be made throughout history. Several influential works would include Francis Bacon's New Atlantis, Inquiring Concerning Political Justice by William Goodwin, a modern utopia by H.G. Wells, and many more. While never made into reality, their takes on what an ideal civilization would look like greatly shaped and influenced our society today. There were, however, some people who actually tried to create a utopian civilization. Here is one example. Brook Farm was a utopian town created by George and Sophia Ripley, both of whom were considered intellectuals of their time. They sought to create a place that combined both the mind and the worker to produce a simpler life that fostered intellectuals. It was noted for its modern use of the education system, which is very lenient on schoolwork and studying, and more focused on fostering a desire to be educated. This society, however, would not last long, only lasting six years. Its impact on society, however, was evident. The ideas from the town could be traced back to Plato's idea of a utopian society, focusing greatly on education and equality. It is also an influential U.S. communal experiment, having a place in U.S. social history. Brook Farm was a short-lived but influential town, but were there other utopian societies that lasted longer and held more impact? The Shakers are a utopian society that still exists to this day. Founded by Anne Lee in 1774, the Shakers held some unique values. The Shakers had communal living and did not believe in procreation at all. Instead, the society grew by adoption and recruiting people, who at age 21 had the choice of leaving. They were pacifists who believed in equality among all people. Similar to Brook Farm, they promoted both the arts and the sciences and did not like the corrupting influence of the city life. While not as prevalent as it once was, the Shakers society does exist in some capacity, with a very few amount of members still existing today. Both the Shakers and Brook Farm were examples of communities that were fairly small. Was there ever an example of a utopian society that was widespread? To some extent, communism could be considered a utopian ideal. Karl Marx, the person who popularized the idea of communism, considered his work, The Communist Manifesto, to be a utopian society. To that end, communism would be one of the most influential utopian societies out there. However, the vision of communism that Marx held did not actually become reality. Originally, communism was made to make a class of society where everyone would be equal. However, as we know, that never really happened the way Marx envisioned. In order to establish a communist society, a temporary dictator needs to be placed. However, temporary soon became permanent, resulting in a society that resembled more of a totalitarian society rather than Marx's vision. The majority ended up very poor with censorship of the media and the arts, as well as many more issues. Little power was held by the majority of people, which was the exact opposite of what Marx wanted. 
The argument could be made that, like Plato and other utopian philosophers who sought to create their own utopias, Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto was merely an influential piece of literature, not one that was actually realized. What does that say about a utopian society? Can it even exist? Karl Marx's dream for a classless society may not have worked with communism, but from it came the ideas for socialism. Socialism, or social democracy, works to balance out the great difference in wealth that capitalism allows for. Through taxation, it provides numerous benefits to people, such as universal health care, paying for university costs, and other services to benefit both the middle and lower class. To say communism was the final product of Karl Marx's dream is simply not the case. Socialism is probably the closest thing we have to a utopian society, with its ideals stemming from a utopian philosopher such as Karl Marx. At the end of the day, however, I don't believe that a true utopian society can exist. The idea of perfection is very subjective. My idea of perfection could be radically different from your version of perfection. A society that was perfect would have to fill everyone's idea of perfection, and that just isn't possible. However, that shouldn't stop people from trying to imagine a world like that. Creating a utopian society could influence the next generation, and the economic systems that are made in the future will hopefully be better than the ones we currently have. As Eduardo Galenio would put it, Utopia is on the horizon. I move two steps closer, it moves two, two steps away. I move ten steps closer, and it moves ten steps away. As much as I may walk, I may never reach it. So what's the point of a utopia? The point is, to keep walking. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.